Hey guys, so today I want to check out the new iOS 7 beta 2 uh, update here for my iPhone 5. So if we check it out in the settings area, you can see that this is the name of it, um, 11A400F. It's still iOS 7.0, as you could see there. Uh, but let's let's check it out. There are some new updates in here uh, that we can check out in this video. The first thing is that we can see that we now have the voice memo app back again. So I assume that this is when you want to record something, like your voice, like, Joe, what's up? I'm just doing a YouTube video. What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. Maybe you should subscribe to my YouTube channel. You record it like that, and done, okay. Uh, name it, okay, and now I have a new recording. Joe, what's up? I'm just doing a YouTube video. What's yeah, up? what's up? <laughs> so what you now can do, you can airdrop it, you can mail it, you can message it to your friends and homies. Uh, pretty cool, could be pretty useful. Uh, also, Siri now, uh, if you don't know Siri, the voice assistant in the iPhone 5, has new male and female voices. So, what's up? Hi. What you doing? What am I doing? Waiting for something to do. <laughs> So voice is way better over there. You can also go into the settings area here and if you just go back, go to Siri, you can see here you have a new option of voice, gender, male. Let's check it out. Oops. What's up? Hi there. What are you doing back there? <laughs> wow, that, that's a killer answer. Way better, way better than earlier. Uh, also, when you go into the control center now, you scroll up like that, you can see that you have a new icon down here at the bottom for, uh, for the clock. So a, a tiny little update there in the control center. Uh, also, what we can see here, uh, if we go into... Um, if we go into the weather app, let's see here, if we go into the weather app like this, uh, we now have a new option down here, uh, so we can add more cities here, so you can add even more cities, and so uh, let's, let's say search for something, Paris, there we go, so you can add that time there as well, so tiny little button there, quick little update. Uh, also, what we have is a little bit of a revamped reminders app, uh, so it has slightly a different look here, uh, so when we add a new little thing here, we can add a color, we can um, dog, do it, do it, do it, do it, there we go. Dog do it, okay, that's finished, okay, looks good, looks good. Um, so slightly, slightly, slightly tweaked. Uh, I don't usually use this app, so I'm not 100% sure how it works, but you can change the color here and do all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, probably very, very good when you wanna check out your reminders. But I'm not really sure 100% how it works. But uh, they updated it a little bit. So you can check it out if you want. Uh, also, uh, you can now have, a, when you do iMessage in, in a group chat, uh, you now get avatars and you can also see the time, uh, which could be pretty useful. Uh, you also do have a tweak now on the lock screen, and that is, uh, first we can check out the speed here, uh, compared to the first beta, of course. It's probably a little bit snappier overall uh, in, in terms of bug fixes and minor improvements here and there. Uh, but now when you play some music, I'm not gonna play music because I don't wanna get any copyright problems, uh, but let's check it out here. Uh, when you now have music on, 
let's see. I'm just gonna turn on some Spotify music now. Uh, they have tweaked the lock screen a little bit here uh, from based on my understanding here. Could be a little bit tweaked up here. Uh, slightly, slightly different feel and look. You can see that nice iOS 7 fade away effect. The lock screen still has a quick access here to the camera button, uh, which is very, very nice. Uh, let's see here if we should go into the camera because they have updated a thing in the camera app as well. Uh, and that should be at least a minor tweak here in the panorama mode. Uh, slightly, slightly different interface it could have uh, compared to earlier uh, versions. Uh, also, uh, they do now have tweaked the, the FaceTime app. So when we check it out here pretty, pretty quick, uh, let's see, where do we have fa 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 FaceTime? Do, 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 do. <sighs> you can see now that uh, when you check it out like this, uh, you can see that it's like transparent and, and things and like that could be pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty nice, maybe. Um, so that of course is pretty cool, kind of like a transparent cool effect. Um, and you can also see that in apps, uh, in folders, and when you're using the keyboards, they, they could have added a little bit more of a transparency feel there in the background, so it could look a little bit more awesome uh, if you do like those things. Uh, also, if we continue on here, Safari could also have some small tweaks uh, some minor tweaks here. If we uh, check it out in the video mode, it could also have some tweaks here in the bookmarks page. And uh, if you check out, if you can't find Apple, 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 Apple's website. You, I think you know who Apple is. If we go to the side, See here, there we go. We do have the iOS 7 page there, uh, but I'm just gonna show you the video mode here. So if you can check out the keynote here pretty quick, just check out the player that they could have tweaked a little bit in terms how it looks like. So you can see um, the kind of like the interface here should be more and more transparent down at the bottom and also at the top page. Uh, so definitely nice there. Uh, if you also continue on now and check out some other things here. Uh, so as I said, overall improved transparency on keyboard and folders. Uh, and then also uh, the media player should also be a little bit more transparent. Uh, also, it seems like they've updated the new newsstand a little bit. So uh, when you go into the new newsstand app here, uh, they should have updated this. A little bit also revamp Nike Plus app. Uh, the photo stream uh, also now uploads screenshots and also iCloud support seems to be working. Uh, so if we just go into the settings page, I'm just gonna fire up iCloud here. So you can back up your stuff if you didn't know what iCloud is. Um, so they have added one more thing here in the iCloud settings. Uh, so you can here choose which uh, things you do want to back up. Uh, you do now have a find my iPhone down at the bottom page. So you can find your iPhone uh, remotely located, lock it, erase and prevent reactivation of your iPhone if you misplace it. So uh, very, very useful over there. Uh, also, uh, from my understanding, I think that when you now go to brightness and wallpapers, They've added wallpapers here on a new page. First, we do have two dynamic pictures here that we can quickly uh, add on. And when we set it, of course, we can set it on both at the same time. So check out this one first. I think this one was already in the first one. And then this one, uh, this is like live wallpapers if you would be an Android user. So set both. So you can see these kind of bubbles there in the background, which looks pretty, pretty boss, pretty awesome. Uh, also, if you go back here, you just look at still pictures. Uh, seems like there's a lot of old ones. Um, I'm not quite sure if this one was, this one could be new, I think. 
but I'm not 100% sure if it's a new picture, but it could be a new wallpaper in there. Uh, I, I do like small things like that as well. Uh, and I definitely think that they've added more wallpapers here from earlier versions of iOS. Uh, this one, of course, is one of the default ones that uh, I did get in the first beta. But I do like this dynamic one. So I'm just gonna set that one on both. Uh, also, if we continue on uh, and check out some other small things, Spotlight also uh, should be quicker here. Uh, so should be a little bit quicker and snappier uh, when you go up and down and you should also search for stuff a little bit quicker. So pretty, pretty, pretty useful. If we check out also the notification center here, uh, or the, the, uh, the top page notification center, you can see this is how notifications looks like in iOS 7, uh, same as in the old one, but then I didn't show uh, when you got new notifications that it's gonna be on all page, and then we do have the missed stuff and today, and of course you can edit this page, of course, if you would like to tweak it as well. Uh, so of course, there's a ton of other things that I could go over, but there's a lot of minor tweaks uh, that you will notice once you install it. Uh, and overall, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty nice update. I also heard that uh, when you double tap and go into multitasking mode over here, uh, it should be a lot snappier uh, to remove things in here. Uh, so quicker and snappier multitasking is always a nice little thing. Uh, so they were, were around, uh, or it was around two weeks ago, uh, the first beta came out and this is the new edition here on my iPhone 5. I also might check it out on other various phones or check out various apps to see if we can see any speed improvements or any difference like that. Uh, so hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like and hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Yeah, peace.